She's super pumped, you guys. Yeah. Super uh, pumped. Uh, Get it. Fuck you, chair. Uh, uh, uh. What if the whole panel were just trashing shit? I would never. Just like the worst never rock stars. Do you want to sit down? Uh, okay. I want to lay down, but I don't know if that's appropriate. Right, give it a whirl. No, I literally just woke up from a nap about eight minutes ago, so. I might still have uh, the, the pillowcase marks on my face. How are you guys doing? Hi, guys. I know. We'll get See, there. These we'll are get my there. people. These are my people. They're here. They're here. These are your people. They're I know. You. you guys. I love you. And Gil's here, too. Yeah, and Gil. I'm here, too. But I'm just here. For, and that for also free. never happens. It never happens. I mean, we worked together so much on the show. That, <laughs> uh, we did one panel together. Did we? Creation. Oh, we did. Yeah, and that was really with, fun. Uh, but also with Kim and Ruth, Kim right? And Ruth, yeah. Never shoot me. Yeah, that was a fun one. Um, I mean, we can go on and on about how tired we are, but that doesn't sound nearly as fun as maybe this question. Hi. Hey yo. Yay. So, since we are talking about trash and stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, since my friends gave me the nickname Benda from Vendalas because I'm so clumsy and tend to knock over chairs and stuff like that. Not me. No. I would never knock over a chair. You wouldn't, right? <laughs> so because your character Donna is kind of clumsy, I'm yeah. wondering whether you are too. And then I got another question after that. Is Donna clumsy? So uh, she she makes kind of the impression that she's. I think maybe she gives the impression that she is, but I don't think she is. I, on the other hand, am clumsy uh -huh. as all hell. Okay. I'm so clumsy that I'm constantly like biting my own tongue because I can't get another fuck out of the way when I'm chewing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm I kind of <clears throat> swallow my spit and start coughing on it because it goes into the wrong pipe. Uh -huh. So I totally feel I've you. Done that. Yeah. No, I think Donna is pretty smart. I think maybe she gives the impression that she's clumsy because she's f funny. She's a comedic mm -hmm. character, and so you kind of think, oh, you know, the wacky uh -huh. slipping on a banana. But I think she's actually pretty clever. I think she's more clever than, awesome. say, I, especially I this mean, morning. I mean, she managed to survive this song and not get killed, right? Yeah, so. and she's the sheriff of a town, you right. know what I mean? I like, I like the idea that she's... She's a boss, man. So you're not dead? No. That's cool. Yeah. Cool. I think What's that, that like? <laughs> What's that like, like to not die in your book. first episode? Oh my god. Yeah. You've, had, you've been in one episode? Yeah. And look one, at what a two, star you two, are in the two, fandom. But, um, that's a big deal, well, right? Well, it's it's partly because I'm a Winchester. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You're a big fucking deal. Yeah. And, BFT, uh, BFT. Matt Cohen kind of uh, started it off. You know, he said he set a, a good example for me. Right. He's also a Winchester. He's actually my son. Clearly. I don't really like like to talk about it though. Oh, sorry. Sorry. You brought it up. I mean, I I I'm more proud of Jeffrey D. Morgan. Right. <laughs> as a son. The other but, incarnation. But, but when he's not around, Matt is he's not a bad substitute. No, for anything. Yeah. If you and know. I and, and Jared and Jensen, I mean Sam and Dean, I'm pretty proud of. I yeah. mean like in a way they all like came from me. Yeah, like you get all of the credit pretty much. They just right out of me. Just uh, like literally right out. Are, are we going there already? <laughs> we're going there. We're going there. Whether you're a Sam girl just or a Dean girl, girl, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Here is why you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a great Be careful day. out there. Yeah, careful out there, clumsy. <laughs> just start name calling everybody. Careful out there. Speaking the of clumsy, I, I, Henry, I don't know if Henry's clumsy or not. I think he's, he's not the smoothest guy, probably. But like, I, I'm a little clumsy sometimes. 
Hmm. Really? Like, what's... Okay, so I almost fell in the shower uh, yesterday. Sounds about right, yeah. Yeah. I thought... Like, I had a moment where I, like, almost went this down. Like, a, like an old person. I one time had, I slipped in the shower and grabbed the shower curtain and fell out of the bathtub yeah. and ripped the shower curtain off. And I'm like, oh, it does happen. It can happen. It can happen. It can happen. I almost grabbed the... What's with that, that, that uh, cord? That, oh, yeah. That, that little, like, help. emergency call thing. For help. Yeah, I almost, I almost grabbed that on the way down. <laughs> I'm like, they have those in every bathroom here? Yeah, that's, that's how they do it over here. Why? Because they fall a lot. Is that why? Yeah, yeah the Italians so are We don't for have it. that in North America. Yeah, no, it's an Italian Everybody's thing. It's like, they... you fall, you're fucking, it's your own fault. Nobody's man. coming. <laughs> yeah, no one's coming. Yeah, no one's coming to help you. Help. No, the Italians are known for it. It's yeah, so helpful big. people. A lot, of, a lot of spills in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Too but, much wine. No, it's yesterday all that wine. I was like, this would this would be perfect for me that I would I would slip in the shower and pull that cord on the way yeah, down, and good. everyone here would know. It'd be a good story for the panel. It already is a good story yeah. for the panel. Doing my best, Brie. Doing it. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Um, my question is: When you're out on night out and you've maybe had a few wines, what's your <laughs> what's your favorite me? <laughs> what's your favorite party trick to pull out? Party trick. Oh, I was just telling people about my party trick the other day. Sounds dirty. Who said that? That was me. I want to know about your party trick. I don't think I so have. Tell me about your party trick. Show me your party trick. I'll show you mine. I don't think I have a party trick. Like I don't think I have like a cool party trick and like that makes me look cool. I think like I would rather talk about other people's party tricks. Like. Um, Misha was just doing in the green room his accent. Uh, Dimitri? Dimitri. Yeah. Has anybody seen Dimitri? Has, has Misha done Dimitri for yeah. you guys? Fuck, we are just barreled over in laughter. Yeah. That is a good party trick. Like, I could watch that all yeah, day. Yeah, I pretty much demanded uh, Dimitri to come out yeah. to dinner last night. Yeah. Said, Where is he? Bring him. Bring him. Let's go. You know, leave Let's him go. here. You can go home. <laughs> My, my favorite party trick is when I get to that point where I just have to leave and I just casually <laughs> slip away. It's ghosting. It's called ghosting. Yeah. Or the Irish goodbye. Irish goodbye. Irish goodbye. Ghosting. Um, I used to want to be really good at doing that thing where you can light a match with the, with, um, the uh, matchbook. Just go like that. I'd be like, you need a light? Boom. You're welcome. But I'm not that slick. I'm more like... Ah, fuck. Or like the, ah. the, the Zippo lighter, like on the leg. Yeah, see? Not that, that cool. That. No, but I will try cool. to be that cool every time. That's why I have to be funny, because I'm not cool. <laughs> that doesn't answer your question, but it's the best we could do. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. They think you're cool. It's cool to be not cool. Right? Yeah. Uh. Hey. Oh, hello. Hello again, Mary. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Hi. Um, I have to apologize to everyone because I am directly stealing the question from the lovely Ooh. Russian girl from the last panel because it was so good. And I think you guys are going to knock it out of the park. Okay. Oh. If you were a character on Magic Mike, what would your signature <laughs> signature dance move be? <laughs> well, you know Matt Cohen and I do a bit at karaoke at Magic Mike Bet, right? Do you? Yeah, I sing. You've never seen it? <laughs> I, so. I sing um, Pony, and Matt dances to him. And we've so we've given it a break because we're starting to go. Is this appropriate? Um, but I once started singing because I think it's fucking cool. Do you guys know that song by Genuine? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, How's it go? I'm trying. I was actually gonna sing it. Yeah. Do no, you know I, it? I, I know it. I don't know that I can sing it. But it has that really cool like. But it's a bit better. Um, um, I'm trying to think of words. Help me out, anybody? Nope. Nope. <laughs> so, so, okay, so you sing it and, and Matt. I sing it, it and Matt started dancing to it once. He just started, like, I think it was because I would go up to him and I'd be like, da -da 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 -da, doing my like weird train move that I got. <laughs> yeah, just like that. And then Matt suddenly started dancing back at me. And then all of a sudden, one time at a con, he was he brought a chair up and he went, sit down! And he fully lap danced on me. Wow. It was awesome. 
He'd done that a couple, I think like maybe three times, and then he was like, okay, maybe, maybe not, maybe not cool, maybe not cool. I'm like, totally cool, totally cool. Come on. Um, so, so what was the question? <laughs> Magic Mike. So was your my character movie? would always be the person that's get grinded up on. Forever, that would be my character. Please and thank you. Forever the pole. Yeah. Forever the pole. Forever the girl. Um, um, you gotta you dance say? up on me. You can't just well, walk no up. No Come on, you're a professional. <laughs> you can't just walk up. <laughs> so I can't. Back, a stripper that just comes on stage and just goes like this. <laughs> How are you guys? I'm here. My life's going great. Just totally naked and like. Big dong, super hard body, yeah. Just to stand on the stands there. But the girls are still going wild! Ow! That is a heavy dong, my friend. That's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> Does that really hurt? This is... I don't know. I, you know, I would love to do a move for you, but I don't know if it's probably smart right now. The move, you the might move. Hurt I've never seen Magic Mike. Um, I, I just have you guys seen it? Just the good part. <laughs> <laughs> the box. Now, like the move where where Tatum's like. Yeah, it's the best like, one. Down. Yeah, he does like a little snake just on like, the floor. Like humps the floor. Yeah, so hot. <laughs> so hot. So hot. You did a pretty good job. I didn't know. <laughs> I got you, baby. I got you. Um, look at somebody's definitely getting. You just like basically. somebody's totally turning that into a gif right now. I, I hope love so. it. I hope so. I, I, hope I hurt so. my back watching you do that. <laughs> I literally am like, oh god, that looks. That like was so hurt. hot. Yeah. I'm so glad I did that. Um, great question, Russian <laughs> girl and Minnesota girl. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Hi. Yes. Well, Henry was um, American British, uh, an American man of letters, and he always followed the standards and the ideals of the American British man of letters. What was what would what what would be his react, reaction now to the British man of letters work in America? Well, um, I don't really know a whole lot about what's been going on on the show. <laughs> But I don't think it's good. Um, I, I feel like Henry's probably not very happy with uh, the likes of Arthur Catch and uh, that Adam Ferguson guy. Mick, I don't, I, I, Mick Adam right? Ferguson guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think I think it's gone off the rails. I don't, I don't think these guys are uh, upholding uh, the ideals um, that Henry stood for back in 1958. So was Henry like a good guy? Yeah. Oh, these right. men of letters are not good guys, right? Yeah, oh man, I need to do some research. I'm like, they're, yeah. Have you met Davey? Yeah. He's an asshole. Dick. Yeah, Super just a straight up dick. dick. I mean, total typecasting. Yeah, right? Yeah. He's so, when I first met him, I was like, oh, that that's you? Okay, all right, yeah. you can stay, fine. Because on the show, he's like, Oh, shut the fuck up, man. Yeah, but he's cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's like backhand my TV. Um, um, yeah, I, you know, I, I don't know. I think Henry's probably not too happy with the, the way some of them are behaving. But, um, you know, maybe he needs to come back to life and, and fucking and wreck shop and handle this, you know? Do it. Yeah. Yeah. We did a little, uh, uh, Davey and I did a little fight scene yesterday on stage, a little slow motion oh, fight Oh, really? Scene. Yeah. Uh, did anybody record that? Yeah. Has anyone posted it? Because I'd love to see it. If, okay. Not yet. Someone post that. Everybody's busy. I, I want to see it. Busy. Yeah, we did a, uh, a full slow motion fight scene as our characters. That's cool, cool, man. It was pretty cool. I'm going to watch it, but I'm going to watch it in regular time. So I'm gonna speed it up. Speed it up. And see how stupid you guys look. <laughs> no, we look stupid. <laughs> we look stupid at any for speed, sure. really. Yeah. No, I, Henry got his ass kicked at first, but then I just went in and kicked him in the nuts. Not the, always the nut kick. Yeah. It saves everyone. Yeah. God. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Hi. She's like, stop talking. Your question is done. She's like, you said nuts. <laughs> Bye. Gotta go. Get me out of here. Hi. Hi. 
I was wondering if we could get your best pickup lines as Donna and Henry. So what would their best pickup lines be? Or Donna's would, has no game for sure. She'd just be like, oh, hi, do you want to get some soup or maybe some, um, we could, yeah, we could go get a milkshake or, you know, if you have time. <laughs> if you're not busy. I know, so earnest and cute, but I bet she's just amazing in bed. <laughs> oh, obviously. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, man, I love Henry's that. pickup lines. I don't know, man. I, th I feel like Henry is, um, he's happily married. Yes. But, you know, he does like, uh, he does like the ladies. Right. Sure. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. I've heard about that. A sigh is just a sigh. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. I think he probably like gets, he gets carried away and just goes for it. I love it. I love how I was all I was just going. Oh, he said he wasn't gonna sing, and then I was like. Oh, but he did mention he was going to tongue kiss me. <laughs> so I was no like, complaints The one thing here. I won't do today is sing. Yeah. The one thing I will we'll do, do is stick my tongue in your mouth. Your mouth. <laughs> With because, consent. Because this is yes, work. Yes, of course, of course. Because it's work. Um, thank you for your question. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hi. Hi. So I'm so nervous, like always. So oh, oh okay, good, me too. Take your time. Welcome to the club. Thank you for being here. I'm so happy to be here. And my question is not a question, but could you please say something to his Russian accent just like mine? <laughs> well, it would not be just like yours okay, if you're actually from Russia. Um, I don't want to offend you with my yeah, Russian I, accent. I do what I it's can. Not that not, great. It's not that I try to uh, what talk is your name? with the microphone. I'm Maria. 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 Uh, we sit on chair. I yell things into microphone. I just met a girl named Maria. Maria. <laughs> oh my god. I can die now. Suddenly that name. We were doing a bit. We were doing a bit in the... Uh, we were doing a bit in the Russian yeah, accent. We were doing a bit of a Russian You know, I, I, try, I try to answer a question. I yell into my microphone and I answer a question and then you start singing. I, 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 think, I, I think it's okay to sing vodka. Vodka, yes. Singing, si. no. No singing. That's right. I apologize. Thank you, thank you. I, just went, you. I, went, I went from Russian to weirdly Italian. <laughs> Thank you. That was really fun. I'm better at that than I thought I was. Yeah, putting it on my resume. <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys. You're awesome. Thank oh, you. Awesome. So are you. I want to talk about Weber Daughters. Mm -hmm. Please. And, uh, <laughs> you can stay. Um, <laughs> I was, I was no, I want to I hear about it. I was thinking now, since we've been, you know, trying to get a spin-off with Weber Daughters and everything, and somehow the people up there aren't listening or anything, and it's a great idea. Um, and now, at the season finale, we've kind of hit a reset button for the show. I was wondering, maybe their idea has been to integrate the Wayward Daughters as a semi-fixture into the new season. Would you think that would be possible? I think it might be. I mean, they used to have like Bobby, and they had the saloon and all that kind of stuff. And now they're kind of, you know, just all by themselves. I so, think you might be on to something. <laughs> that would be great. I don't know. I don't know anything, really. They don't tell me anything. But, they don't tell me anything. But I like what you're saying. <laughs> they told me a couple things that I can't tell you. Um, but I can tell you that they are listening. Right. And you are being heard. So it will be our job to keep talking about it. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens next season. Great. Great. Hi. Hi. Um, you guys are really funny together, so there's a... Hey. Is that Marianne? Yes, it is. Yeah. I can't believe you still remember my Nailed name. Nailed it. You remember everybody's names. <laughs> I barely remember my fucking name. Who are you? 
And who are you? I don't know, man. I just told you. I can't remember. Hi. <laughs> I know. I know. Good fit, right? Yeah. Sorry. I uh, you guys should take your act to. There's a place outside of Vancouver called the Giggle Dam. You ever heard of it? No, he's no. already it's, giggling though. It, it's an appropriate <laughs> club. You should go there. It's, it's a, a comedy club? club? It's, yeah, it's a dinner theater. He lives in Los Angeles. Cool. I have a friend who plays drums there, and he's. Uh, I go there as, every time I go to Vancouver. Did I you say it's a comedy there. club? No, it's called the Giggle Dam. <laughs> But is it a comedy club? It's a dinner theater thing, but it's a variety show. Okay. Oh, cool. Totally hysterical. You just said your friend plays the drums at a comedy club, and I just pictured this one guy going, <laughs> 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 It's no. like his a, a whole entire job. I was like, sweet gig, man. <laughs> uh, I love that. Yeah. Gil and I are work, we're working on our, our good, shtick. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. That's, that's very that's sweet. Very nice of you to say. I think I think Bree would be amazing at a, a place like that. I, I, I don't know. I don't know about me. <laughs> we got this. We got this. Is we're this doing is it. it. We're workshopping it. it. Yeah. <laughs> you got off Broadway. Off. Off. Probably off New Broadway. Jersey somewhere. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I got to spend six weeks in Vancouver last year. Lucky. Uh, and I did a Canadian road trip. Um, I was wondering if you had a favorite place in Vancouver. In Vancouver? Or around. You spent a lot of time there, no? I've, I've spent some time there. Because you, I, I you do Once Upon a Time too, right? Yes, I've worked Once Upon, uh, once upon a Time as well. I Usually my trips are like very, very short. And though. you're busy. I'll go out for yeah. a couple days. Um, there's a, a really great breakfast spot called Commune. Do you know Commune? Yep. It's next, right across. Next to the level? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, it's great. Medina is a, a oh restaurant. Oh my gosh, Medina. Yeah. And I Thank know the owner. Thank you for saying that. Okay, so if you ever go to Vancouver, go have Everybody breakfast goes to Medina. at Medina. And what's funny is that, like, <laughs> I, I know the owner, and so he's like, you don't have to wait in line, which is in Vancouver. It is gold, precious gold, because Medina, there is always a line, and who yeah. wants to wait for fucking breakfast? Not this guy. Get the food in my stomach yesterday. Um, and so, <laughs> he's always like, just text me. And so, last time I was there, I took Catherine Newton, who um, plays Claire on the show. And it was funny, because we were just talking about Jared and Jensen. And uh, I was like, let's send them a picture. And I just sent them a picture of us like this, um, you know, ordering breakfast. Did you get a table or were you at the, at the counter? Table. Cool. Fully. Cool. See, I, I go by myself. Oh, um, fair I, enough. Yeah, I like counters. Said, yeah, I always sit at bars and yeah. restaurants. But we sent a picture to Jared Jensen and Jensen texts back. He's like, enjoy your lavender lattes, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> because they have lavender lattes there and they're yeah. so good and those guys and they, are working. And they have amazing Suckers. little waffles. These little, yeah. Uh, the and they have like caramel had. sauce for the waffles. Yeah. 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 Medina it's is our stuff. final answer. Medina. Oh, they had, uh, when I went, they had, um, okay, I love figs and I love orange marmalade, right? That's orange marmalade is like my favorite jelly. You know orange That's marmalade, disgusting. right? That's disgusting. I love it. You don't like it? Who likes orange marmalade? I just barfed in my mouth as you said that. So they, they had, no, but they had Why don't you put big, pineapple on pizza while you're at it? Orange <laughs> marmalade. Just kidding. Food is all food is delicious. Oh, whatever. Anyway, thanks for ruining my orange marmalade story. <laughs> oh, it was going to be a great story. No, it's not a story. Oh, I thought you were just saying I love orange marmalade. And they have it there. It. That's the story. No, they have it mixed with fig, and you put it on the waffle. Oh, that actually sounds. They pretty have good. like like eight or ten different like toppings for that waffle. Dippings for the for the waffle. Yeah. Anyway, that's my favorite. Um, does that answer your question? There's yes. a there's a great there's a great bar called the Kiefer. Also. Kiefer bar. You've been, been there. Kiefer? Yep. It's in Chinatown. I went there with Rob Benedict actually once. We saw uh, somebody. Uh, um, what's it called? That well, they're rapping, but they're Im improvising the rap. Yeah. What's that called? Um, yeah, that's what I yeah. thought. So was <laughs> improvising rap. Yeah, it was awesome. It was very impressive. Or we had just had a lot of beer. I don't know. One or the other. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm. What um, think about uh, superheroes and what's your favorite and do you think it's really inspired people? What's our favorite superhero? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, currently Wonder Woman because I can't fucking wait for the movie to come out. I see that and I literally, the trailer like makes me start weeping. I'm like, how did it take so long to get a movie like this? It's a good trailer. Yeah, yeah she, okay. looks, she looks good. She looks real good. Okay. Well, you're missing the point then, honey, aren't you? 
This um, is why we need Wonder Woman. As a, as a, as a small boy, as a, well, not, you know, as a, as a child, I loved Spider-Man. That was he was always my favorite. Um, as I got older, when when uh, Tim Burton did Batman, that was it. I mean, Michael Ke Michael Keaton as uh, as Batman. For sure. Like I, I will never forget the feeling I had when I sat down, my dad took me to see that movie and sitting down and watching the opening of that movie when they just reveal the symbol, the, the Batman logo, you know? Like, yeah. it, was just, it was just such yeah, an incredible you know film. So, so iconic. I'll never, for, I'll, I'll never yeah. forget it. It, was, it, it, like, it just it moved me in a way as a kid that was like, I mean, for months and years, all I could think about was, was uh, You're like, this is what Batman. movies are like. Yeah. This is a movie. Yeah. Yeah, and then everything had to measure up to that, and especially the other Batmans. You're like, why'd you do that? Yeah. Don't. Just stop. And I say, as great as um, uh, Nicholson's Joker was and, and is, I mean, it's fantastic. Like Heath Ledger's was. That was that was another that was another like moment in the theater where I was just like absolutely blown away. I was in Chicago. I was in Chicago doing, uh, working on a, a little movie, and and I went to see it was the opening weekend of that movie, and I went to see it, and I, had, I even like I was totally like fanboy, I had like Batman shirt on, and I went, I went to see that movie, and I waited in the line, you know, with yeah. all the, everybody, in it, and and I'll, I'll never forget that that movie and that performance. It was it was really special. Yeah, man. Um, Does that answer your question? Yes, I did. Oh, you're taping it. She's like, or you're texting somebody right now. I don't know. Can you imagine if she was like, mm, I'm done with you guys talking. So I'm going to write like, this no, quick email. I'm my mom right now. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Hi. Would you, would you like to play Hi. a superhero? Me? Yeah. Play, sorry. One memento. Because I would. I? You would? Yes, absolutely. Sure. Like, that's, like, that's like the role. Like, but you know what? I feel kind of like I do play a superhero. In a way. Um, obviously, I would like to throw some cooler punches. Sure. Um, thanks, man. I feel I do feel like on the show, like we all kind of are in a way. Would I like to be a Marvel superhero and get a Marvel paycheck? Um, maybe. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah. I would like to be in Guardians of the Galaxy. Like yeah. that is. We were talking about like that earlier. Funny. And I was so like, fun. that's the kind of show I could be in because it's like, it's not just about all the action sequences. Because if I did that, I don't actually know that I would love it. Actually, action sequences are actually take forever to shoot and are not that fun. I'm like, I like acting with actors. And action sequences, often you're just doing a move by yourself while they shoot it. And then you do the next move while they shoot that. It's very cut up when you see an action sequence that's like 30 seconds long it might take two days to shoot it's crazy did you do a lot of action on supernatural just the one in heavy 911 but it had um jared jensen me kim and then the th three bad guys four bad guys it's a lot of people in it's an action scene. yeah <laughs> the bad guy was a girl I like to say guys like people, which maybe is derogatory, but I also like to consider myself an actor, not an actress. Just That's how fair. my doctor is a fair. doctor, not a doctress. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I'm um, sorry, did that offend you? There's like a you lot didn't, of you didn't, You shouldn't offend me. <laughs> okay, question. Hi. So, you said you don't want to sing. We're good, we're good. <laughs> so, can you sing something together? Yeah. So you said you don't want to sing. Um, you say you already together? ruined that. You already ruined that. Just an imitation what, what, of her. What would we sing? Um, what could we sing? Well, whatever we sing, it has to be down many octaves <laughs> because of lack of sleep. I don't know. Do you have any suggestion? It has to be something we know. Disney. I. Did you say Holy World? I was I totally think they thinking that. Give. Would appreciate that. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, whatever your choice is. Uh, a whole okay. new world is all I can think of, it, and it has to be. You have to sing it down so low. Um, I can show you the. Okay. You gotta sing that one. Yes. 
Yes, we are. sing it down. I will stop you, but still We guys. said we weren't going to do that. I know, I know. We're doing I it. I can show nope, you. Nope, too high. The down. <laughs> I can show you the world. you know. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, breathe. Now, when did you last let your heart decide? Okay, let me sing the next part, cause then I can, it's the boys' part still, right? Cause she I, got I, it. I don't think I can sing the girls' part. Um, <laughs> sing it, sing it again. Cue the lights. Cue the lights. Get the smoke, smoke out. More smoke. More, more smoke. smoke. Maybe they'll sound better. Um, <laughs> What was the last line you lights, said? More lights. I can open your eyes. You just went up that's, again. That's the next line. You went up again. I did. Sorry. Uh -uh. Sorry. He's, he's sabotaging me. Sorry. I can open your eyes. Um, next line. I can open your eyes. Take you wander by wonder. Over sideways and under On a magic carpet ride A whole new world A new fantastic point of view No one to tell us no Or where to go Or say we're only dreaming A whole new Close your eyes. Um, a hundred thousand things to Hold see. Your it gets better. I'm like a shooting star. I can't hear you up there. <laughs> I'm like a shooting star. No, I'm, just, I'm, I'm loving watching you like trying to remember the words as you're going. I can't hit those notes right now. Like, yeah. my voice is trash. This is her fault. I blame fault. you. I can't go back to where I used to be. Um, um, oh, man. oh man, we're so fucking old, you guys. Oh, yes, <laughs> And then, do I just go a whole new world? I don't know. Sure. I don't know. Let's this, do is, it. this went great. I'm so glad we decided to do this. <laughs> I can't wait to watch the video of this later. It was like, a whole new world, so a whole new world, that's where we'll be. That's where we'll be. That's where we'll be. <laughs> um, a thrilling chase, oh a wondrous place <laughs> for you and me. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. You're welcome. We actually are, we just got cast in the live uh, musical. That was more, yeah. I have a degree in musical theater, and I've just put myself to shame. I actually made myself start sweating. Yeah. yeah, but that was amazing. No, thank you. Thank yeah. you. No, stop. I know you like it. Remember when I first saw good, that? That is a good like, song. We're going to be fucked. I'll, I'll never forget, the, I'll never forget uh, watching Aladdin, Aladdin also. That was, you know, as a, as a kid. I think I, I, I was think like that I had first like, big kind of I think, know, I think digital was, I think Disney movie. I was 15, 14 or 15, and uh, I remember making out with a girl to while well, we watched Aladdin. That was like that was like the play so back then. That was me. the go-to. Like wow. when watch Aladdin and make out. Really? Cool. Oh yeah. I think I was. I'm. I'm. Just, I think heavy I'm a lot younger than you. So I, to me, I was like, you are doing what? Did you say I'm a lot younger yeah. than you? Cool. Got that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I think we're the same age. I don't know. 24? Yeah. Yeah, 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 cool, 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 cool. Um, uh, thank you so much for your suggestion. She's not over there. Thank you. Oh, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, so I was wondering, what was your biggest misconception about acting when you started out? Uh, that I was going to be rich? Yeah, that, that it was glamorous. Still, any day now, any day. Um, About biggest misconception. I don't know, I think, I think there's a bit of, uh, you know, people think that it's, it's, um, it's glamorous yeah. and, and really like fancy and all that, and maybe it is for, for some. Um, 
This is is not for this one. This is pretty fancy for us. For us, I you mean, know, I mean, being in Rome, anyway. like that's yeah. probably the most, the fanciest, most glamorous thing that's happened to me. And I'm not technically acting here. But I would say, like, when you're actually shooting something, <laughs> when you're actually shooting something, especially TV, you know, the, the days can be very long and sometimes very lonely. And you're in a trailer. You're in like a tiny little potty that probably seven thousand people have used. Do you ever go in that bathroom and go, "What is my life?" You're in a trailer, and they, they no. put you in the toilet. They say, "Stay there." I know the trailer makes me so sad. It it's, it's, it sounds like cool, like you get your own trailer. Oh, a trailer! You're like, dude, it is like a couch and a table and a stinky toilet. Yeah. And that's where you are for hours you until know, they though, say it comes I, I love that though. I you love like, your trailer. I, I, I like to work. I like to work. Yeah, so sure. I, I don't like, yeah, it's not fancy. It's not great, but I like to be there. You know what I mean? To be on set. Yeah. Yeah. To be on the set. Trailer. It's I just like, like it. trailer's one of those things where I was like, that is fancy yeah. and it's really not. Yeah. Unless you have a fancy trailer. <laughs> Unless you're Jared and Jensen. Exactly. I mean, you've their been, in, you've awesome. been in their trailer, right? Of course. Yes. <laughs> Obviously I mean, you've been in their trailer. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. spread those. No, I'll, never, I'll never forget. I'll never forget the first time I stepped into their trailer, like coming from from my trailer. <laughs> like <laughs> they welcomed me in, opened the door, and I can't remember if it was Jared or Jensen's, but it was like it was such a like yeah, it's just a trailer. It's a trailer. But you open the door, kind and you, just, you step in, and you're like. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. This place is huge. Yeah, man. You got a fireplace? Yeah. You have you two got, dogs? You got a king size bed? Kind of trailer? Oh, wow. It's so nice in here. They, I mean, it's just the most beautiful trailer you've yeah. ever seen. Yeah, but I mean, fuck, if I had to spend that much time on set, I'd be like, can yeah. I have, can I have, can I have that, please? Um, yeah. yeah. They yeah. will never give that to me. One day, I'll just have Jared and Jensen's trailer. One day. One day they'll use. <laughs> don't clean it. I want it as is. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know. I don't know. If you could have one of their trailers, who would you who would you have? I don't think I've been in Jared's. I just assume they're exactly the same. I I would. Uh, I think I. You know. I don't know if I've, I've been, been in Jared's, Jared's either. I think I've been in no. Jensen's. Party's always in Jensen's trailer. I feel like Jensen's is like you know like very clean and. And I've never been in their trailer when I was working. Yeah. I've always been in there when someone else is working and we go in there to have a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you do uh, uh, with this cast. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. It's not a glamorous job. It's a hard... You actually work quite hard. Yeah, the, if you're the lucky, hours you get, get to work. Uh, a show like Supernatural has a lot of nights. Yeah, they have so the uh, fratter days, they call it, because the they shoot so long into Friday, it becomes Saturday morning. Um, last, uh, when Spate was shooting his episode, they said they had two fratter days where they went till 5 a.m. I was like, holy shit, glad yeah. I'm not on that show. <laughs> um, but it's, it's tiring. There's a lot of uh, hurry up and wait. You know, which never never gets easier. Yeah, it's always like, especially if you're a guest on a show, you're always kind of like a little. At least for me, speaking for myself, you're, I'm kind of like a little on edge. You know, like uh, wait, right. coming? Is, is it time? I, you know, or if you have to prepare like an emotional scene because you do yeah. actually have to be that person and prepare. It's true to be able to emote like that over and over and over on uh, uh, in that scene and. Oh man, if they're just like, we're just setting up the lights, it'll be another hour, one more hour, and then you're sitting there in turmoil so uh -huh. that you're ready to be able to cry in your scene, and you're like, man, I'm gonna shit myself, I have to sit like this any longer. <laughs> um, see, that's why I have the smelly toilet in my trailer. It's actually me, it's actually my fault. This question took a weird turn, so. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Hi. Hey. Hi. Oh, I do that all the time. Same. Um, my question is, what are like the three little things in all day life that make you the happiest? My daughter. My daughter. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we're actually just talking about our kids in the green room. We're like, oh, this is really How old hard. is your daughter? She just turned three. Wow. Yeah. We both have daughters with the V names. That's cool. I didn't even think about that. We should get the tattoos. Well, my husband has Valentina written on his forearm. Does he? Yeah. Oh, cool. So he really wants me to get just his face on my forearm. Never happen. <laughs> Unless I have a couple of these. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so my daughter, uh, 
Valentina. Um, Valentina. And uh, Sleep, which I don't get that much of in general, not just t today. Uh, in general, I'm not a very good sleeper, so when I do get it, I feel like a new person. And um, I really like um, um, boxing. I box a lot. Oh. Yeah. Yeah? It's cool. weird. You yeah, didn't no, expect that, that, that eh? No, I, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I just thought That's very... cool, though, because I, I, I would say the same thing. Like, I mean, like, obviously my daughter, you know, my wife, family, yeah. friends, but then, like, you know, fitness, exercise, yeah. those those kind of things. I love hiking with my dogs. Yeah. I've got two uh, two rescues, two little uh, Chihuahua Terriers, Willie and Sammy. Not named after Sam, but yeah. Um, so I yeah, I just I just that's that's my life, you know. When I'm not when I'm not flying off somewhere, I'm I'm at home with my dogs, you know, with my daughter, my wife. I love good food. It's awesome. Yeah, I was just gonna yeah. say, I'm like, if we're gonna get into food, like sushi, man, we're gonna sushi we're gonna get like, into it. Yeah, I like spaghetti. We're really lucky. We've got the most Twizzlers. amazing sushi restaurant, like, <laughs> you know, just right down the street from our house in, in LA, and so we can like walk, and we'll take we'll take Vivi and and just put her in the stroller and walk down and have sushi. We go like five thirty. Yep, which I right. love because I've always been like an old guy like yep. that. My wife beat the crowds. She's not so. She's always like she's more like a New Yorker. Like right. you don't even go out until nine no, or ten. No, no, no. Me, so, I like. I'm on the earlier side. Yeah. Like, can we get in now? Early especially now special? with kids, you like you want to go to bed. Oh, yeah. Routine, five, man. Five thirty dinner. Perfect. Bring it. Let's go to dinner. Yeah, Should man. Be asleep by seven thirty, and I will I'll be, be on the couch. Shortly. Yeah, exactly. We're usually in bed like around ten o'clock. What party animals, hey? You guys are a party with. Do you, Thank you. Miss, do you miss your daughter when you're gone? I mean, I, honestly, no, no. <laughs> no cool, cool. Just being fucking honest. All right, cool. cool. I love my daughter, but I love to work, and I'm good at what I do. And um, I get pictures of her and videos, and I see enough of her to know that she's safe. She's having yeah. fun. I'm, I'm gonna be so excited to see her, but. Um, no, I'm, I'm a fully formed human outside of my daughter. <laughs> That's great. That's great. I will say, there is something really awesome about being away and, and looking at your child through, like in pictures totally. or video it's or like FaceTiming. It's better. It's awesome. Yeah. Yes. I'm getting no. the best videos because when you're at home, you're like laughing, but you don't clock it like you do with videos, totally. right? Oh man, I got a best. I don't. Did you see it of Valentina dancing to Moana? No. Oh fuck, I'll show it to you. It is unbelievable. Like she's choreographed it. She's doing this dance. <laughs> Literally though. This one. And it stops. And then this one. And then she goes. <laughs> Where'd you learn those sweet moves, girl? <laughs> um, and then she gets. Whenever she makes pancakes, my husband um, is now a stay-at-home dad, but he was a chef. And when they make pancakes together, she has a little chef's costume she wears. Aww. I know. <laughs> um, and they made pancakes, and Aww. she had her own little whisk and her own little bowl, and they're like yeah. whisking together. Yeah, it's pretty fucking cute. See, that's what I'm saying. If I was at home, I'd be like, what are you guys doing? Where's the coffee? Or... Yeah. But when you're away, you you those moments down? are almost more <laughs> precious. Yeah, exactly. Still sleeping. Yeah. That's cool. I, yeah, man. I love taking Vivi to the kitchen. I like to cook. And, so excited uh, for her to get a bit older. Yeah. Uh, you're going to love it, man. She's going to be a fierce female. <sighs> I'm just trying to like to stay in, That's smart. in the moment. I was bad at that because I was tired. Yeah. Yeah. It's, as are it's, you. As are you. I'm not saying that. Are there mothers, fathers out here? Right? Yeah. You I mean, guys get you know, it. It's, a, it's like a different, uh, different level of tired. It's... Um, like you, obviously, you show up, and they're yeah. they're, your, they're, your, they're your child. Yeah, man. They're so beautiful, and it's just it's the most amazing thing. But gosh, it is sometimes. Kristen and I are just like passing her back and Aww. forth. You know, it's just like can you, can you hold her? Can yeah. You, you know, of course, of course. That's awesome. I, he is very sweet. I think, like both he and um, Matt, you guys both. I watched both. I didn't know Matt very well before he had Mac, but um, oh fuck. Both of you guys are so in love with your kids, uh, and it's fun watching you guys become dads. 
Um, it's really pretty cute because you guys really love your babies. His son is so freaking cute. I can't cute. even talk about that fucking kid. Yeah. So goddamn cute. And I hate saying that about other kids. I still like to believe my kid's the cutest, but that one... Yeah. It's like next level. Yeah, yeah man. Matt's, he's okay looking. Yeah, you know? Matt's, Matt's whatever. If that's what you're into, you know, chiseled abs yep. and pecs and, you know, strong jawline and... <laughs> I mean, if that's what you're into. No, I mean, um, who cares? Whatever. Okay, you have a question. I know you've been standing there for a while. Let's talk about Matt going forever. Matt, it's worth it. Matt? <laughs> Okay. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah. When you did your, when you did, when did you realize you wanted to be actors? Um, were, uh, you know, when I moments. when I was very young, I uh, I started doing like community theater and that sort of thing. And I don't know. I think it started very early. Maybe I didn't know at that time, but then it just kind of like gradually, you know, progressed. But. Uh, when I was like five, six years old, I did a, a, a community theater um, musical, and and my mom says she remembers um, like all the other kids that were in the musical. Would, when they weren't on stage, they were like off playing and doing being kids, and and I was like tucked in between the curtains, like watching. Like I was just so like enamored with what was going on on the stage, and so yeah, I think it kind of started then. When I was, I specifically remember it because I remember I lived on. I grew up on a farm. And I was on the farm and I saw commercials for Les Mis, which was touring across Canada uh, at the time. And I, t I was 11 and I asked my mom, I was like, this looks kind of cool. We should go. She got me tickets for Christmas. And we went and saw it and I was just like this the whole time. Yeah. Like everybody's dying. You know what I mean? I'm still just like, yeah. Uh. And I told my mom, I remember being yeah. like, I want to do that specifically. I, it's funny you mentioned Musical that because theater. I remember my mom getting tickets to Les Mis in Houston. And I, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was an opera. Right. You know, the right. title, I was just kind of like, oh, this is going to suck. This is going to be so boring, whatever. And I will never forget no. seeing that musical. As it's like, for me, it's like Batman. Like, yeah. this is my it's Batman. It's one of those things that like, stays I've seen with it, you forever. I think four or five times yeah, now. Me too. me too. And it's always the one where I'm like, oh, God. And that music, dum da da. Uh, Eponine, Eponine, right? Eponine. Uh, uh, on, you know, front and center singing on my own is like so good. The, hands down, the best moment in that music. Why did we sing me. that? Don't you fret, <laughs> Monsieur Marius. I don't feel any pain. Do you know that song? A little call of rain can hardly help me now. You're here, that's all I need. 